Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to Saturday tutorial in Revit Global Knowledge. Today, I'm going to share with you how to create a presentation elevation or stunning elevation for presentation to your client or your project school in Revit. As you can see, I got some project reference on my screen here before we jump into our project. We will walk through together for the whole flow from start to finish. We do not need our Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop to make that. We just using our existing tool for visualize style to make that. And before I get things started, I would like to ask you, and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about Revit, make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notifications if you don't want to miss my future tutorial. Because I got a lot of high quality content to bring in the future and if you want to learn more about Revit, make sure hit subscribe here and thumbs up if you like the tutorial. Okay, so let's speak into our project together and I would like to go to our project reference. Basically, this project when we install our auto Revit, will be keep reminding in your interface so you can open that and study from that and I think we use this reference is a better way because I could not using my existing project because I got a copyright from that I wore it a first another life when I use their project to make the tutorial that's why I think I use the existing project from Autodesk to make that and show you guys how to make that make it more stunning and make it more professional for presentation to your client and you don't need to use your photoshop okay let me turn on for this one first okay here is our project reference from autodesk first thing i need to go to my level one over there and i need to create our elevation first to do that you need to go to your home here and you can right click here either this one is a camera sorry so you just let this one for elevation or you can go to your view tab there to show that let's say i select this guy over there then i can straight away start from the first point until second point like this obviously we do not see our elevation yet because it's a crop view so i'm going to uncrop first just uncrop view here do not crop here we will show our elevation here as you can see here then I can turn this one until here to show from our direction here until here like this because this dot here is just showing our direction for our section so once I done that I can double click here to go our elevation again I need to adjustment our crop view first I'm going to adjustment here and make it more nicely just make it like this okay first thing we want to make our elevation stunning to presentation we would like to hide our grid line and our elevation level and our section here as well i be using for shortcut key is faster way let me i select our elevation like this and sa for select all then we have for hidden all element and again i'm going to select key again then using the same shortcut key sa for select all element then here we have for hidden element and this guy over there i'm going to high also once i hide that as you can see here now i got some clearer for my elevation it's quite clearer and what we are need to do next i'm going to be using our visualize style to achieve our elevation first thing i need to turn on this one as you can see here basically sometime on your revit this one is the thick line here is turned on so i'm going to turn off here first as you can see here so i can when I zoom in, I can show it clearly for my line there. It is easier for me when I print that. And once I done that, I can go to my visualize style and I will change our level of detail, change it to fine first and go to our visualize style, go to graphic display option. I will play around with that and make it faster as fast as can because just a quick tutorial. Again, go to graphic display option. First thing we need to take a look on our smooth line here. I'm going to turn on here. The reason for that when I zoom in it easier to see my uh, the deeper line there. It easier to, to recognize that. Then I'm going to change this guy over there. Change from none to which line here. Let's hit apply. 
as you can see here now our line is look more deeper so what i done that i will walk through from another option here just go to our shadow then i will turn on for cash shadow just apply so our shadow will be coming here and as you can see our shadow is quite deeper but don't worry about that later on we can adjustment that and for the skip here sketching line here i will skip that because i don't want skip in line version then i'm going to deep cursor here and i need to turn on for show depth for show depth here i will play around with that i will make our near is from 20 to 100 and make our darkness i can make it from let's me think first we just make it like this let me see okay i want to make it for 15. okay it's now better a lot then we can go down to our lighting shots actually for the lighting shots here is for visualize style when you are need to see your lighting shots when rendering on night time so i'm going to skip this part also because we want to make our stunning elevation for presentation only not about the lighting source so i will skip that i will skip here first then i'm going to our realistic mode then i can change our style here to realistic here then i can apply let's see first as you can see here then i can change our color correction i can play around with that based on my previous presentation on preview from the first start i make our shadow here make only 10 because i don't want my shadow is quite deeper so i can make it for 10 hit apply okay uh, i think it's a better a lot so i can hit okay first then for color correction we done already and for the brightness depth you can manually it or automatically let's say i want to manually it i will manually it and make it something like brightness as you can see here it's too brightness already so you can make it more deeper or darker this one is too dark already the best way for visualize style here for me i will prefer for automatically because i don't want to wasting time to play around with that it's nicely for me then i can take a look on the background there and i can change my background to basically most all three with tutorial or for this topic they are turned on for gradient but i would like to use image and download the photo from google is the faster way and make my animation look stunning better than that so i let's say if we want to make it for gradient as you can see here our sky is coming our background is coming to like some kind of sky color but i don't like that because i want to add some tree or person and some the backing for viewer make my building is quite realistic and quite nice so i'm going to turn this one to image then i can supply once I change image that we need to custom our, our image size. We will go to our Google and download that. But first thing before we go to Google, we need to hit OK first. Then I'm going to select our tree there because I want to hide our tree. I do not need. I go to hide in element then by category. Once I select that, all my tree are gone as you can see here. And let me give you a quick tip before we jumping into our Google okay if i want to hide this story here i don't want to see that how could i hide that and how if i want to hide those kind of unwanted to show in my elevation how could i hide that a uh, simple thing you need to go to your annotation there then you can go to your uh, region there then use masking region i can stack there let's say i want to hide my so here i can straight away draw it out let's say i can draw it out like this just follow my rem here sorry this one is not rem it's about the sloping i will make it like this zoom in a little bit more like this okay sorry uh too much already then make it until here just make it until here like this 
because we turn on for Spelastic, that's why it's quite slow for my laptop here because um, actually I record on my laptop here most of my previous tutorial I record on my PC but an apps, uh, recently my PC got some problems so I need to record on my laptop there then here I can trim and extend TR trim and extend from here to here okay hit escape once I done that I can hit finish up okay as you can see here now my sloping here works right here is gone that's how you can hide the unwanted item on your elevation but in my case there i don't mind that i will just leave it like that and i can delete and of course for your masking region there you can adjustment here as you can see here when you select it you can adjustment make it higher or smaller or right or make it smaller to left side move it to right side also can it depend on what you want to hide in your project but in my cache here i prefer to delete it okay so now let's download our background on google let's go to my start menu there then i can go to google here just hit enter okay so once i read that i will try to search it out but you need to know some tip and trick to search it because it's sometimes when you tie wrong it's hardly to get what you want so i'm going to tie it out for architecture architecture elevation background photoshop then i just hit enter once i done that i can go to my images here okay as you can see here we got a lot of options that you can using and download and load into your project for in my case there let me check first i like section of sports there i will select here one and let's say what is going up here okay actually i like this guy over there is a workshop.com we got some tree from behind and got some uh, sloping here like a mountain then i'm going to right click on my closer just sell as an image then i just load into our desktop here like this then just hit sell here once i done that i can go back to my elevation there again then go to our visualize style here go to graphic display option and i can go to my background again custom is made then i need to load one before i can scale all my image there i can go to image here and go to my desktop again go to my image file let me change this one to thumbnail first okay where is it okay this guy over there and it's open up when i open that i can adjustment here because here is link from our desktop i can go to wick here or go to high or i can custom offset here but basically i will prefer using for for straight here then i can it's okay then i can hit apply once I select that, it will be generating. It's okay. As you can see here, it's quite nice and quite realistic when you presentation it easier easier for you. You don't need to using Illustrator or Photoshop to make that. Okay, that is a quick tip how to use create your stunning elevation. I know my tutorial is quite long already, but I hope you guys understand more about that okay so now it's pretty much for the tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish if you like this tutorial and you are first time here you haven't subscribed to my channel yet subscribe to my channel for motivate me to bring more professional content about it thank you guys for watching and i see you for another tutorial in Revis and have a nice weekend thank you